The son of Barakel, the Bussite, answered and said, I am young, and we are very old. Wherefore was I afraid, and thus not show you my opinion? I said, they should speak, a multitude of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Let's add verse 9 to that. Great men are not always wise. Neither do the age understand judgment. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Sit down balladociously on your enemy's head. I want to share with us on spiritual investment. Yesterday I talked about life in the spirit. First day mystery of prayer, second day mystery of the kingdom. Yesterday life in the spirit, today with that wasting time I'll talk about spiritual investment. Tapping into the spiritual resources of God. You must understand your body is a place. The scripture makes us to understand that your body is the temple of the living God. And, and I also make you understand that your body is the house of God. And that and in the book of Acts 17, 24, God is speaking that even though you build a house, it cannot contain me because I can't live in a house that is built by men. So your body is a place, your body is a territory, your body is a land, your body is God's piece of property, and hear me, any land can be any land, but there are specific land that are valuable, am I communicating? The value of a land will determine the amount and any buyer will be willing to buy. So you must understand as a human being the spirit of God in you is the investment that determines your value. How valuable you become is at the measure of the spirit of God inside you. Am I communicating? How valuable you become. Your physical value. The amount to amount to. Will be determined by the spirit that you carry. Now where we read in the book of Job chapter 32. 
the three, the friends of Job were talking. And as they were talking, they were all saying all manner of reasons why Job was going through problems. And the youngest among them is Eliu. Eliu kept quiet. After they spoke for a long time, Eliu kept quiet. And then Eliu spoke and opened his mouth and said, you all have spoken, but I'm the youngest among you. That means I don't carry what you carry by age and experience. Then he went forward. And he said, I thought that old age will speak wisdom. But I've seen that old age doesn't speak wisdom. He said, I was afraid to speak. And I said, I thought they speak. A multitude of years speak wisdom. I, I thought they speak. A multitude of years speak wisdom. But he said, I now know. There is a spirit in man that the inspiration of the Almighty gives it understanding. So the only reason why Eliu was able to speak better than every one of them was the investment of the spirit that he carried that others don't carry. Your age doesn't make you more experienced. The number of days you spend, even in faith, does not guarantee you maturity. I am 50 years old in the Lord. I am 40 years old in the Lord. That is not what determines. Is how old is the Spirit of God inside you? Hear me. He said, there is a spirit in man. The inspiration of the Almighty. Give it its understanding. Hear me. When God wants to transform your life, He passes message to your spirit. Your spirit receives the message and educates you as a human being. The control tower of your life is not your brain. It's your spirit. It is what comes into your spirit that informs your mind. And then your mind controls you physically. And that's why you have to be very careful. If you carry a spirit that is not matured, you might not be able to last. I came to talk to somebody here. Your spirit will grow. Some people got born again the very day they got born again. They are still where they are. One of the greatest problems that can ever happen to you is to have spiritual investment that is there and is not growing. In Genesis chapter 1, when you read verse 2 and 3, the Spirit of God, the first time it was mentioned, he was moving. Someone say move. I'm not hearing you well. Say move. Say move. The spirit of God was moving. For you to go to the next level of your life, you must carry an Holy Ghost that is not caged. An Holy Ghost that is moving. Some of you would have been better than where you are. But you are catching the spirit of God. See, there are many oil in the bottle. That is why you have to break the alabaster boss. The spirit of God is not meant to be in a container without flowing out. I prophesy. This inflow will bring an outflow. It's not for everybody there. I thought somebody shouting that amen well. Something is about to happen that somebody is about to take a total control. As you take advantage of the spirit, you are about to enter a level that what you carry will shake the world. I don't like the way they are shouting that one well. Some 
body is about to enter a dimension that will break all protocols. The spirit of God inside you is not for entertainment. I see somebody going to the next level. If you shout it well, somebody is about to be liberated. I thought they are shouting that one well. The question is, what am I carrying? Am I carrying the Holy Spirit or an unclean spirit? Hear me? The same power through the Holy Ghost that can deliver is the same power that can kill. The same power that raises the dead is the same power that can kill. I speak right now. That power is about to rise you up and kill your enemies. I did not like the way they are shouting that war. That power is about to rise up inside you. Now, 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 now. Matthew chapter 12 verse 43. If demons are moving around, why will the Holy Ghost in me not move around? It's not for everybody. He said, when an unclean spirit is gone out of the man, he walketh through dry places seeking to rest and findeth none. No, I, 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 I told you on Sunday that spirits, when they go out, they are looking for a place to rest. I'm teaching you some things in the spirit. And for the pastors, hear me. If demons are walking up and down, looking for where to rest, it means when the spirit comes upon you, the spirit must move you. Either to do negative thing or to do positive thing. If you carry, and, if you carry the Holy Ghost, and you are not advancing, it's not the Holy Spirit. I profess that spirit inside you, that Holy Ghost inside you, in this 2024, it will move you to the next level. You see, the way they are saying that, amen, I don't know whether they are ready. If that spirit the resurrected Christ Jesus live it in your mortal body it will quicken your mortal body I prophesy everything that I delay I quicken it for answer I did not like that word if you want to see automatic answer speed in the speed of light partner with the spirit of God I prophesy in less than 24 hours what you have not been able to do for 24 years do it now hey, I prophesy I prophesy get married in 2024 build your house in 2024 enlarge your church in 2024 travel abroad in 2024 Take over in 2024. Carry your twins in 2024. Recover all in 2024. Buy that car in 2024. Rise up in 2024. Overtake, 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 overtake until you overtake the overtaker. I profess somebody is overtaking the overtaker. Lift up your leg and shut fire. Sit down. That's why when we are saying out, out, be very careful of many out. Because when the demon come out, when something enters somebody, demons don't go out without looking for a place. Whenever you cast out a demon, directs them. When a demon come out of an individual, is looking for another place. Another person deliverance 
is another person bondage. You are not getting me. Hear me. If a demon does not enter a human being, it will stay in a territory. If the demon go around and never see a woman being, he will look for a dry place to stay. If he does not see a dry place, he will look for a swine, a pig to stay, an animal to stay. If the animal cannot contain him, he will enter the sea. If the sea cannot contain him, he will stay in the region. That is why when you say out, you must direct them where they need to go. Some of you are not possessed, but your house is possessed. You are not hearing me. Some of you are not possessed, but your car is possessed. You are not getting me. You are not getting me. That is why you enter a place and you say, anytime I go there, bad luck used to happen. Something will happen. Anytime I go there, something happened. I prophesy. Every environment that is possessed by demon, I cast them to heavy. Some pastors church, demons are hanging everywhere. That is why Osha will quarrel. Choir will fight. Security department will scatter themselves. Because as soon as they come into that environment, a violent spirit hanging around. Hear me. You will not carry another man's problem. Let me balance it. If I cast that demon, I can tell them where to go to. But your neighbor there doesn't know where they should go to. So when I say out, they say out, 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 out. As the demon is going out, he's jumping into another one. So, so many out is so many in. So many out is so many in. But hear me. When your spirit is vitalized, when your spirit is robust, when your spirit is circulated with fire, when somebody say out, when a demon come around you, say, ah, this one is fire. I cannot near. Today I set you on fire. Oh God, the way you are shouting fire, I don't like it. Shout that fire well. Shout fire seven times. One, two, go. Fire, 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 fire. Hey! Hey! I command every spirit waving around your atmosphere. As you appear, they go to Abyss. Ah. Jesus speaking in Mark. Sit down. Chapter 11. <laughs> verse 23. He said through 25. If you have faith like a mustard seed, you can say to that mountain, be thou removed. And the mountain shall be removed and cast into the sea. <laughs> Can I prophesy? The deliverance of one mountain is the possession of a sea with another mountain. Now, that's not where I'm going. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. Versículo 1. First Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 1. Uh -huh. It is reported commonly that there is a fornication among you. Uh -huh. And such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles. Uh -huh. He said even unbelievers, they cannot do this. But it's happening in the midst of believers. Some of you are, some of you, you are carrying Bible by your heart. Satan is asking you, where did you learn this from? When you 
trivialize um, when you trivialize all spiritual things, you are not ready for the kingdom. You think the kingdom is speaking in tongues Você and committing sin. Go ahead. That one should have his father's wives. Go ahead. And ye are puffed up. You say you are puffed up. You are proud. When I see some of you young men, you are growing in the Lord, but with pride. As you are growing, pride is growing. As you are growing, pride is growing. You see, where your growth is also commensurate with the spirit, unclean spirit, disgrace is inevitable. Continue. And have not rather mourned that he had that he that had done this deed might be taken away from among you. He said, this person that have done this, take him away from among you. Uh -huh. Go ahead. For I verily, uh -huh. as absent in body, I'm absent in body, but I'm talking to you. I'm not here physically. Go ahead. But present in spirit. I am present. So I am making this decree from the spirit. I am not in Lagos. But my spirit is present. So I'm speaking as a spiritual entity, not as physically present. Go ahead. I've judged already uh -huh. as though I were present. As though I was present. My spirit is present and it looks like I am the one present. So under this spiritual law, I'm passing this decree. Go ahead. Consigning him that had so done this deed. This person that have done that this kind of thing. Go ahead. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of no, our no, Lord no, Jesus no, Christ. No, not no, in the no, name no, of the devil. No, 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 no. Go ahead. When ye are gathered together. When we all gather together no, like no, this. No, go ahead. And my spirit, my spirit, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. With the power, are you hearing the emphasis? With the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead. To deliver such an one unto Satan. Deliver this person to Satan. He's, he started by telling you that this thing I'm about to tell you, I am not here in the flesh. I am here in the spirit. Now, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power, so you can operate under the power of the Spirit and deliver somebody to Satan. Read on. For the destruction of the flesh. For, not the destruction of his spirit. For the destruction of his flesh. Let him see no, no. Let, let him suffer in the flesh. Then, that the spirit may be saved. How can Satan destroy you and your spirit is saved? How can Satan? Paul say, I commit this one to Satan to destroy his flesh. But after Satan torture him, his spirit will be saved. You are watching me now. God begin to make me to understand. Some people are going through some punishment. Because some people have committed you. <laughs> there are some punishment that the Holy Spirit will not do well. But Satan will do it well. But your spirit will not be touched. Why? Your spirit is the most valuable. So God can allow your flesh to be punished in order to save your spirit. It's a, it's a deep one. Are you ready? There is an investment of the spirit inside you. So that Lucifer knows if I touch him everywhere, I can touch his spirit. But can I prophesy? Anyone tormenting you, I hand over such for the devil. Hey, your enemy 
enemies are fighting one another now. Because of you, witches are, witches are scattered their society. Hey, chair lady is fighting with chair man. Agent is fighting with agent. Let Ruben live and not die. Anybody troubling me in less than 24 hours, sleep and not wake up. Hey! Hey! Anywhere they tie down your glory. Anywhere they tie down your blessing. Anywhere they tie down your glory. Today! Advance! 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 Progress! Progress! The wind blow it. No man know it where it comes from. So are they that are born of the Spirit. 2024. As you are coming, they will not know where you are coming from. Hey! Hey! Where you are going, they will not know where you are going to. If they cannot catch wind, they will not be able to catch you. If they cannot see wind, they will not be able to see you. I profess her. Somebody is moving to the next level. Hey! La coparande. La coparande. La coparande. La coparande. Ya parada. Itabaya. Le para. Ekaba. Zopara. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Your flesh. A sua carne. Need visa to enter America. Precisa de visa. Your spirit. Does not need visa to enter America. <laughs> you are not getting me. Your flesh needs security check to enter Aso Villa. Your spirit doesn't need security check to enter Aso Villa. If your spirit can enter, your flesh will get there. Whatever you picture. You capture, you manifest. Stand up, thou son of man. What can you see? I see myself in the next level. I want you to see and say, see seven things and say them. I see the house. I see the next level. I cross the borders. I see the money enter. See, see. Carry your spirit there. Go to your village. Build that house. Enter the next level. See it, see it, see it. Agabayala. 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 Eta. Eta. 